Hey everybody, uh, just got done watching last night's Walking Dead episode. Um, season 7, episode 13, Bury Me Here. A really good episode. I like this episode a lot. Um, a lot of things happened that needed to happen. Things involving Carol and Morgan and King Ezekiel and the kingdom in general. So... Yeah, we open with Carol. Carol a little restless about what Daryl told her when she asked him about Alexander and if everyone was okay. And he told her everyone was okay. He lied. And she's restless about that. She wanted some answers. So she kills a bunch of walkers, gets into the kingdom, talks to Morgan, asks Morgan the same thing that she asked Daryl and Morgan tells her he's not going to tell her. He's going to respect what what the conversation between Daryl and um, Carol was between them. So he doesn't get involved. They go to the kingdom, goes to do another drop-off with the saviors. And the road is blocked with a bunch of grocery carts and such. And so they're late. They get there late. And he kind of lets the light, the guy, um, Gavin, what's his name? The, the leader of the, the group that goes to collect from the kingdom, he kind of lets that slide a little bit. But then he finds that their one um, cantaloupe, is it, short of their delivery. And King Ezekiel swears up and down, you know, there were 12 when we left. Now there's only 11. So... They want to make an example out of, he tells them, you know, King Ezekiel tells them, in an hour we can have twice as many candles, but Tim is at the point. So what happens is there's an argument ensues. They take uh, the kingdom's guns and the douchebag guy, Jared, is, is that his name? The long-haired douchebag guy on Negan's pickup crew there. Um, points a gun at Richard, and Richard says, go ahead, shoot me, just do it. But instead of shooting Richard, he shoots the kid, Benjamin. So, they have to rush Benjamin back, because he's going to die. And they rush him, they bring him to Carol's, because they don't really have a choice, and they try to save him, and he dies. So, and then um, Morgan's a little upset about all this. He has a conversation with Richard. No, what happens is Morgan kind of flips out. There's this whole thing with him flashing back and stuff. And he kicks over a bucket. And there's the missing cantaloupe. So he goes and talks to Richard about it. Richard admits he hid the cantaloupe. He set up the roadblock. All this stuff. What he wanted to do was get something to happen to get things going, get like a fight going between the kingdom and the saviors. He wants the kingdom to join with Alexandria and Hilltop to fight the saviors. And the whole plan was they would end up shooting him. He was going to be a martyr and get himself killed for to get all this going. He tells Morgan, you know, I lost my wife during this. I lost my little girl. And I did nothing to save them. And now I'm doing something. And so, obviously, everything went wrong. The whole plan was for them to kill him. And they killed Benjamin instead. And so they go back to do another drop-off. And before this, during that conversation I was talking about, you know, Richard tells Morgan, we need to show them that we understand this is how it works. This is what we need to do. So eventually we can attack them. So what happens is they go back to do another drop off. And, you know, Morgan asks Richard. Because Richard had said he was going to tell Ezekiel. And Morgan asks Richard, did you tell him? And Richard's like, no, when we get back. And Ezekiel's like, you'll, you'll t we'll talk about it now. And... They don't talk about it, and what happens is Morgan attacks Richard, kills Richard. He doesn't trust Richard anymore. 
He kills them to show that they understand, to show Negus people they understand what needs to be done, what they need to do. And Ezekiel's distraught about this. And we go back, and what happens is McMorgan just killed somebody. He hasn't killed somebody in a long time. He's anti killing people. If you remember the episode where he learned, I forgot the the thing is that he learned with the staff and with the, he doesn't like to kill, but he killed someone and so he's gone to where we've wanted him to go because he needs to start killing people because it's going to come down to that soon. And, you know, he does this thing with Richard and then he goes and he talks to Carol. He goes to Carol It's like, do you really want to know what happened to Alexandria? He tells her what happened. He tells her that Negan killed Glenn. They ki killed Abraham. Beat him to death with a bat right in front of him. And she goes to to Ezekiel and tells Ezekiel, you know, I'm going to move back here. We need to get ready. We need to fight. And Ezekiel's like, yes, we do, but not today. He's helping the kid, the one kid that Benjamin was always around. He's helping him plant a flower or something. So, yeah, it looks like the kingdom's ready to fight now, which is what we needed to happen. Because all these people get, need to get together to fight Negan. Because living how they live is not going to help. I um, look forward to seeing what's going to happen with Oceanside. They're going to get the guns from Oceanside. See what happens with the Junkyard Gang. Maybe all of them could fight Negan. So... Yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. People probably complained there wasn't enough action, but two people did die, so can't really complain about that. Um, but yeah, it was a real build-up episode. Some things needed to happen. Morgan decided he can kill again. Carol, for better or worse, and Carol has decided she's going to join up again and do what she needs to do. And Ezekiel has decided that they finally, you know, they need to fight the saviors. So I look forward to those last few episodes of the season. I believe there's three more. And I, it's looking pretty obvious that Negus, I don't think Neek is going to be killed this season. It's going to go out, go over into the next season. So look forward to that. Check out this episode. Really good episode. Uh, yeah, I loved it. So have a great day, everybody. And that's it. Have a good day.